Today we will talk about system of linear equations. So first, what does it mean a system of linear equation? So linear equations, it's a line. So remember, we talked about different linear equations. So it's going to be a straight line going up or down. And a system means that you have more than one. So this here is a system of two because we have two lines first degree equations first degree that's because we have x exponent one with two variables the two variables are x and y all right so if you look at the graph you see that you have a line going down here because it's minus x and remember the rate of change if it's negative it's going down and if it's plus 8, that's because here our initial value is 8. If you look at the line going up, it's 1 half, so it's positive, it's going up. And the plus 2 here is our initial value, plus 2. So when you have a system of two equations, they're going to meet in one point, And that's what we call the intersection point, And that's what we call the solution. So if I ask you to solve this system if I ask you to solve the system then the answer you have to give me is a coordinate so let's look at the three methods we can use to find the solution so first we can look at the graphic second we can use a table of values or we can use algebra a comparison method so let's look at the graphic so first you graph your two lines and like I said the point where they meet here this is the solution. So our answer here would be, and then there's one, two, three, four. I can see that we're missing the numbers. They should be here huh, to tell us it's one. So the solution here is four on the x axis, and one, two, three, four on the y axis as well. So we can find a solution like that. Second method, we can create a table of value. So with our two rules, I, I called one y1 and the other one y2. It doesn't matter which one. And I'm going to put some values for x and find the values for y. So if I decide to put 0 here, I'm going to come in my equation. I'm going to plug in 0. So 1 half times 0 plus 2, that gives me 2. And here, if I plug in my 0, minus 0 plus 8, that's 8. So I can see that this is not my solution because it's not the same answer. So let's try with 2. If I come here and I plug in my 2, 1 half times 2, that's 1, plus 2 is 3. So I have my 3 here. If I plug my 2 here, I'm going to have minus 2 plus 8. That gives me 6. So again, it's not my solution. But see here, between 2 and 8, there's a big gap. 3 and 6 is getting closer, so I'm on the right track. So let's try with 4. If I come here, instead of putting 2, if I put 4, 1 half times 4, this is the same as 4 divided by 2, so that's 2 plus 2 is 4. And here, instead of my minus 2, if I put uh, 4, then I'm going to have minus 4 plus 8, and this is equal to 4. So when it's all equal, well, actually, when these two are equal, that's what my solution here is. So I know my x value is 4 and my y value is 4. The third method is what we call the comparison method, really, that is the algebra. Some of you feel more comfortable with the algebra method and some of you really don't like it, but uh, it's a third method. You should know how to do it, and it's good because it's practicing your solving equation um, skill. So first, what you have to do, you need to isolate the same variable in both equations. Right now, your y is already isolated. You see y is equal to this, and y is equal to this. So step one is done because your y is isolated. And then you will compare the expression. What does it mean to compare? You're going to take this here. It has to be equal to this. So I'm going to write it like this. I'm going to write my 1 half x plus 2 has to be equal to minus x plus 8. 
all right because what I'm doing really I'm doing y1 is equal to y2 right my first y has to be equal to my second y and then I need to solve so I have x on the left and x on the right so I'm going to bring this one over here and I have numbers on the left numbers on the right I'm going to bring my two there so now I have one half x plus x is equal to 8 minus 2. 1 half x plus x, this one is over 1. I need to put them on the same denominator if I want to be able to add them up together. Right? So I'm going to put this one over 2. I times by 2 at the bottom. I'm going to times by 2 on the top. So 8 minus 2 is 6. So now I have 3x over 2 equals 6. So if I want to get rid of my 3 half, I'm going to continue here. I have 3x over 2 equals 6. So to get rid of my 2, it's divided by 2. So on the other side, I need to multiply by 2. And 3x is times. So on the other side, I need to divide. So then I'm going to find x is equal to 4. So this is my step number 2. Okay, this is my comparing. Now I found my x value, but I'm not done because I need to find my y value. So step number three, I'm going to need to find my y value. So to find y, are you going to use the first equation or the second, or it doesn't matter? So that's for step number three. You can use either one. I'm going to use y2 just because it's easier, right? I can just do minus 4 plus 8. And I'm going to find my y is equal to 4. Now, step number 4, check your answer. That's really important. So, to check if I am good, step number 4, I'm going to plug it in the other rule. So, my other rule is this, 1 half x plus 2. What I'm going to do is I'm going to plug my y value and my x value to make sure I'm good. So 4, is it equal to 1 half times 4 plus 2? So to check that I'm good, and 4 is equal to 4, so I'm done.